This is a revelation of John by the things that he saw in heaven. But verse 8, And the four beasts had each of them six wings about him, and they were full of eyes within, and they would rest not day and night, saying, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, which was and is and is to come. <laughs> Glory to God. And when the beast when, when those beasts gave honor, glory and honor and thanks to him that sat on the throne who lived forever and ever. And the four and twenty elders fall down before him that sat on the throne and worshiped him that lived forever and forever and cast their crown before him, before the throne saying, Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power. For thou hast created all things, and for thy pleasure were they created. Revelation chapter 5, one more scripture, I'm taking you somewhere. Revelation chapter 5, verse 11 through 14. Is it hot in here? Yes. Is the air condition on? Yes. Please cut the air condition on. And I beheld, if you have chapter 5, verse 11, say amen. amen. And I beheld and I heard the voice of many angels round about the throne. And the beasts and the elders and the number of them were 10,000 times, 10,000 and thousands of thousands. Wow. Saying with a loud voice, worthy is the lamb that was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and the honor and glory and blessing. And every creature which is in heaven and on the earth and under the earth and such are in the sea. And all that are in them heard I saying, blessing and honor and glory and power be unto him that sit upon the throne. And unto the Lamb forever and forever. And the four beasts said, Amen. And the four and twenty elders fell down and worshipped him that liveth forever and ever. I'm just going to talk to you this morning briefly about honoring Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm just going to talk to you. No preaching. You may be seated. As you sit down, look at your neighbor and say, You look good. I know you may not feel it, but you look good. Amen. Glory to God. Once again, I give great honor to you who serve our genuine love. I want to talk to you because God began to show me some things about honoring Jesus. Amen? Most things, most of us in church, and I was here yesterday, so I know some of y'all behind me. Somebody say amen. amen. Most of the time we hear about Jesus, we always think about spiritual things. Somebody say amen. amen. Sometimes we forget that the practical and the natural things of our life that we experience every day would not be possible without him. I'm going to say it again. When we talk about salvation, we think about being saved and I'm taking this trip to heaven. But sometimes we don't honor Jesus the way we should because we do not recognize how significant he, uh, he is to our daily lives. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. See, so if I want to give honor to Jesus, which I do every time I pray, but I have to learn, now I'm learning how to do it since this weekend every moment of the day. Because everything that I have, I have because of him. Everything. I know people say that all the time. But if I can get you to walk with me this morning, I'm going to teach you something that's going to change your life. I know we say that all the time, but how many of us recognize what we're saying and what it means? When we talk about honoring Jesus, see, for, particularly for those of us who are in church, you have to recognize that it was not for Jesus, voice of all the role, there would be no church. Amen. Oh, y'all don't hear what I'm saying? So everything that I accomplish and I go through, I become in church, is to his honor. Amen. It's bigger than just receiving the gift of salvation. Every time somebody gets healed, we give the honor to the preacher. But the preacher is only a servant. Amen. The reason that healing is here is because of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm just going to teach you. Give me about a half hour and I'll be done. We have to learn how to honor Jesus. And first, the thing you have to do first General lovers, you've got to honor God by receiving Jesus. Yes. Amen. See, honor goes to God through believing, not through your goodness. That didn't go for good. Can I try it again? We honor God when we believe what he said and when we walk in what he said. Not when we try to be good to please him. Amen. Oh, help me. If I'm going to honor Jesus, I have to first honor God. Because God gave us Jesus. We wouldn't have Jesus unless God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believes in him shall not perish. If God didn't make a decision to send Jesus to be a propitiation for us, we wouldn't even know Jesus. Amen. So first of all, I'm not going to preach, I'm just going to talk to you. First of all, we need to understand that God gave us Jesus as an act of his love. He didn't give us Jesus because he loved us. 
How he loved us was giving us Jesus. This is too much revelation to do this morning. A lot of times we say, for God so loved the world that he gave us only begotten son. Well, we look at the word show, I told us before. It's, it, it so means that's how he did it. So God showed his love for you by giving you Jesus. He didn't give you Jesus because, he's, because he loved you. Watch this now. They, they kind of go together in a way, but you have to understand that what the Bible is saying is he showed you how he loved you by giving you Jesus.